Let me tell you, there is an amazing artist in Jamaica that is more than an artist. I mean, he is, he is, um, he is tremendous in his giving to God and, and his, his life. You see, he is so rounded. He's a musician, he's a composer, writer, he's an arranger, a producer, and he's the performer. Lord, I will always keep you in my heart Cause nothing I know one can take you away from me I'd rather sell everything that I have Than sell my soul for an idol When I heard his voice, I, I said to myself, wow! What a great talent coming out of Jamaica and lo and behold, I discovered it was this youth. He represents the young men of Jamaica and I think if every young man should take their stand and take their position like how Jermaine has done, Jamaica is definitely onto some great things. You see the quality of the, the, the work that he is doing is, is among the top two artists in Jamaica today. When I realized that music is what Jeremy needs and what he's heading for, I begin to teach him how to play the keyboard. The scripture said, train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he's holy, he will not depart from it. And certainly, it is a tribute to Bishop Ron Edwards, the way he grew up his children. I first met the whole family in 1991, when Jeremy was just a little 11-year-old. Jeremy used to get the mango sticks, the, the branches from the tree, and um, he used to use them as drumsticks. He get the cans, the pans, some milk cans from the yard, and he would use the sticks and play them. Um, he would also ask his sister to sing. I realized that he was very stubborn in that area, so I had to bite him on his finger sometimes, just to ensure that he grasp what I'm teaching him. I taught him the first three keys, that's C, F, and G on the, on the keyboard. And I realized now that he began to love what I'm teaching him. He has learned the commitment. He has learned to persevere. He has learned through those early beginnings to actually hone and fine tune his skills. Um, Jermaine immediately was playing the keyboard. Um, he was the main accompanist for the performing arts production. You know, um, very reliable actually. The only time he didn't turn up for a show was when he, he told me the next day, oh, he had to go play for his father. Um, and then I had to try to learn all of that music in the, the, you know, when Jermaine didn't turn up. Um, so he was so good that he would be playing for big audiences and, and for the kids. I remember him working sound, doing sound engineering at his church as a little youngster, helping his dad to advance the gospel and as one would say, he's really a kingdom builder. We've all heard the cliche about being a past a picnic, you know what I mean, how difficult that can be um, when you're going through the changes of regular, you know, adolescent life and all the things that you can be exposed to. Um, and also the things that you can be exposed to in this business, you know, whether it's gospel or secular, it's still the same things that affect musicians and artists on a whole. And when Jermaine is able to shut down, tap in and do songs that impact the lives of, you know, so many persons, it's just an amazing thing. Just a part of my life, of my everything. Your love reaches way down deep within, passes human understanding. There will always be a 
First time I saw Jeremy Edwards, I, he was at my youth retreat. He was playing the keyboard and conducting praise and worship. And everybody was connecting to this praise and worship leader. I can recall when Jeremy told me that he was going to go into the music business or going to the singing business. I was a bit worried for Jeremy because the truth is, I know Jeremy is a better keyboard player than a singer. Yes, he could do praise and worship. But taking that step from being a praise and worship person and deciding that he's going to launch a singing career and have an album and everything, I was doubtful. The journey started with Club Christendom. That was the name of the club. Remember, German was a keyboard player, was a praise and worship leader. But I saw German use the turntable and did praise and worship. For me, that was unbelievable. And I've seen where his entrepreneurial skills have not died. I mean, although he's in business, you'll be amazed to know the amount of other business ideas that Jeremy comes up with. He started his own car wash. Before that, he tried to do gym. Um, so after a while, I realized that he's not actually going in the direction of music. He stick with his, um, his car wash. So I just decided to go and visit his car wash and to have him wash my car, by the way. So I called him one side and said, Jermaine, um, is this your calling, car wash? Do you think this is where God wants you to be? Do you read the scripture where the Bible says, a man's gift make way for him and take him before kings? And I said, car washing is not your gifting music is. He wrote some very profound songs based on what he went through and at one point in his life Jeremy had to recycle pampas. If anybody know anything about pampas that is not something that you can recycle. I remember when our first daughter was born and I made up in my mind that even if the music didn't work, I, I went and got an open general license because I was going to drive a truck just to ensure that my family was eating. The Bible said, by the sweat of our brow, we must eat. You know, some people want to beg it out, but by the sweat of our brow, we must eat. So we applied that principle of fighting. Don't give up, no matter how dark it looks, no matter how the situation looks, just fight. So much just to pay, can't see my way Living from day to day Busy trying to make ends meet No time to go down on my knees to pray But still God gave me grace I cannot allow this situation to get me down No way So I
And you feel like letting go I know you feel like letting go But don't give up Press until you see your way through Your way My children's family are important to me and so I notice everything about them. His wife, I notice she begin to lose weight, her eyes begin to go back into its socket deeply and so I spoke to her and I said, um, you need to go see a doctor because something is wrong. And that's when Jermaine got her into the University Hospital of the West Indies. Being admitted was like I didn't want to go. I mean, I, w I reached at a point where I'd lost a lot of weight. I was weighing like 70 pounds. Didn't know the doctors were unable to say exactly what was wrong with me. Went to the, went to the hospital and I was like an emergency case. And being, being at the hospital is like I, I felt a feeling of giving up because I'm saying I don't know what is going on. They couldn't tell me. So I just really felt like giving up. It wasn't an easy pill for him to swallow. He himself was, was a bit confused as to what was happening to me. And Jermaine had to cook, clean and take care of his two kids. And Jermaine was the same Jermaine. Jermaine still called me and still conducting business and, and still laughing, still giving joke and still motivating during that time when his wife was sick. So if you thank God for joy, you have to thank him for the pain. And a man is going to say, Jermaine, what are you talking about? How, how can you thank God for pain? But if we should look back in our past at our failures, at our bad decisions that we have made, it would have made us wiser today. So it's a beautiful day. And if we look at life from the perspective that not because it looks negative mean it's the worst thing that can ever happen to you, it's for you to look in that situation and see how you can learn from it. And just say, look, I'm gonna think positive. Many people died and never saw this day So another day I live, I appreciate Don't ever wanna act too high and mighty Cause tomorrow I can fall down on my face So in everything, Lord, I give you praise And that puts a smile on my face Lord, I thank you for sunshine
I see the clock ticking away And things are not in place Everything in life happens for a reason Disappointment comes with a lesson It's for me to get wiser Get to work harder In the end it will get better Lord, I thank you for sunshine And thank you for joy Well, 2004, 2005, um, Nicholas wanted to do a collaboration with um, myself and Jeremy and himself. And Nambo was a song where it would encapsulate everything that all three of us wanted to say. Um, my story, Jeremy's story, Jer Nicholas' story, and I can say the rest is his story. Um, now I'm about to see it and that song really exploded to become almost like an anthem to the Caribbean, especially to the young people. Um, because I, I must say, Jermaine was the man really behind the song. And it really speaks of true talent. Even though both all of us wrote our own verses, the real arrangement really came from Jermaine. I remember the first time I heard Jermaine Edwards' song. I was at my desk working and Alicia started playing Island Worship and I ran in the studio bust the door and I'm like who's that who's that who's that and she told me Jeremy and Edwards and then she said I actually got the CD of course you know me like my tail I'm gonna get the CD and listen to it well you know in 2010 when Digicel was looking to extend our sponsorship portfolio we we're looking to build out a family of Digicel customers and we also wanted brand ambassadors and we looked in ver various different genres of music and not just music entertainment overall I mean we signed like Miss Kitty Bambino, Ayoptin, Tifa, Yende, Chris Gale, there were so many different people from different walks of life and different principles and disciplines and we were looking for somebody to represent the Christian community. We were literally scouting for the best gospel act and there were so many brilliant gospel acts out there like we came together as a team and said how do we make this choice and I remember in 2008 I had an album from Jermaine Edwards and that album literally changed my life so I said guys I think I know the perfect person. I brought the album into the office and I had the whole team start to listen to the songs and some people knew him, a lot of people didn't know him, some people didn't know him but the music literally spoke for itself and I mean after that day in the office with the album everybody was like let's get him in for a meeting, let's get this contract signed as soon as possible and the rest is history, so it's really the music that spoke for itself. One Saturday he actually joked to my house and said, listen, I have some tracks for you to listen to. I started listening, we just were chilling at the car and thing, and I said, boy, these sounds sound very international. It had like a, a crossover flavor to it, and that is what I like about his talent. He, he thinks outside the box when, when he's making his music, and that was just amazing. Those five tracks that I heard, I can't even say, boy, all of them were the same. It was just track one different, track two different, track, it's a variety. He's almost a chameleon. You know, you hear him one, on one track and it's on roots. You hear him on another track and he swear says, I dread a chant, you know what I mean? That raspiness to the voice. And then you hear him belting out, you know, songs and you're like, whoa, you know, where did this come from? Today is a day of smile. Cause today I got a new Today I became wise Cause I realized I was wasting time Spend many 
many years living on the surface Never took the time to go deeper in your service I know the problem wasn't you, it was me Every day living my life trying to be man pleaser But today now became your day Because my plan became your way Jesus, your attention is now my pain Every other thing became vain Jesus, you're the reason Twenty ten in the Bahamas. Uh, Jermaine had won the award for I think it was the two thousand and nine Marlin for the best album. Um, and they announced him on stage and I was watching. And he walked on stage while they were having some difficulties with their entire PA system. And he walked across as if there was nothing happening and he sat by the piano and a whole new story was told right there. Right there and then in one flash you could have seen commitment, talent, um, gift, purpose and in all you saw what I would call a kingdom builder. The thing I love about Jermaine's writing is that you can identify with it. His writing is like, um, yes, I love the Lord, but I mess up, or God, I want to worship you, and I don't know how to put the words, or anything that you are experiencing, Jermaine has a way of putting it in worship, and you can say, yeah, 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 I mean that. Listening to his songs brings a practical spin to things, you know? So hearing, hearing it in the, in, in the four walls and then hearing it brought to you in a different way that it is easily applied, you know? So I, I, really, I really dig his way of, of, of pre presenting the gospel. Now here comes a young man in this time. Um, that's why I don't want to call him like a gospel singer. I'd, I'd, if I call him a gospel singer, I'd have to call him a gospel stroke maybe Christian singer because there's a difference I find that there are people who sings a lot of people think of gospel as being the music about pain but he brings the music of hope. I remember one time when he was there singing and he felt intimidated by you know following a big artist praise God and so he goes on stage and he's like oh the people are not ready for me but I'm running run back I worship you know and I said to him, Jermaine, when he came off his stage, he cut his act short and he came off his stage and I said, Jermaine, never ever do that. Because what you have packaged, what God has put in you, is, is not going to necessarily draw the rays and the, the, the outward expression from persons. But persons are going to be moved by, by what you've written. Because I can say, yes, that's me. The song that I really love is Don't Count Me Out. And that song is really... I, call, I, f I felt like I wrote that song. <laughs> like, I called him one day and I was re like really repeating the words to him like it wasn't even his song because it really meant so much to me. And I mean, especially at a time when I really was down as any person just to hear those lyrics. And what I like about him, he's so attainable. He's real. The title track for this album came from a place where people always see persons they don't know where they're going they don't even know where they are in this place this song is a wise song is for anybody it it, it it speaks to somebody who is trying you know it might take five four years to achieve this goal you know what i mean and people might be running past you and thinking that you're not going anywhere but if you just take your time and remember the past remember the things that you have gone through and just know that look I've gone through many things, I've shed a lot of tears, 
But don't count me out as long as my eyes is on the kingdom of God. I'll finish this race. It's not for those who run fast, but Save those who life finish. So many low seasons, a lot of failures without reasons. Many people tried so many times to tear me down. Never prayed I tried to pick me up off the ground. They said I wasn't gonna make it very far. Look in my life and I got so many scars. Wasn't easy, but I really worked hard. Always having Father God in my heart Don't count me out yet, I'm still running Fell down but I got up fighting My eyes are on God's kingdom always And I won't stop until I finish this race Don't count me out yet, I'm still running I fell down but I got up fighting My eyes are on God's kingdom always and I won't stop until I finish I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be But I'm trying to be the man God wants me to be Won't let nobody distract me from my dreams Even if my friends turn my enemies Honestly, sometimes I feel so lonely And I wonder if God is walking with me I see you once in a footprints in the sand it was God always carrying me Don't cut me out yet I'm still running I'm so not but I got I'm fighting My eyes are on God's kingdom always And I won't stop until I finish this race Don't cut me out yet I'm still running I'm so not but I got I'm fighting My eyes are on God's kingdom always And I until I finish The thing I admire most about Jermaine is the fact that over the few albums that he has made, I am hearing improvement in each one. I'm hearing um, great strides in terms of even lyrical content and the music. The music is like second to none. I'm really impressed with the way he, has, he is representing even the gospel music. You know, the music is authentic. It's authentic Jamaica. None of the, I mean, there are some, some songs that, they, of course, you know, for the church, the traditional music and so on. But I more enjoy the real Jamaican original reggae sound. And for that, it's all kudos to him. It's very amazing when you see someone who has captured the element of allowing God to use them as that vessel. And despite their human, Form, so to speak, um, and all the problems that you might have, bills to pay, stress, family. How can you be a father, a husband, a man of God, and a friend, and a cool dude all in one? That's just not possible. When you listen to him talking about God, it's like a different, it's like you're in a different world with him, and you're just forced to just fall into what he's saying, you know? And you know, I, I watch him with the young people, and it's like, you know, when a dog smells food and they're just there staring, that's how they're with him. I just want more of him, just want more of Jeremy, and I'm just blessed to know that God can do someone so much. Every time he talks to me, I feel guilty about whining on stage, and I feel I should be giving my life to the Lord. So, so I try not to go to too many of his concerts, because he is real. He is real on the street, and he is real on stage, and he's real in the house of God. And his music, oh, oh my goodness, it takes you to another level. So it's not just gospel where, where you jump up, it's worship. And, and that's why I'm very happy that his record label is called Island Worship, because you want to worship. As a Christian, I don't want to be somebody who if somebody is genuinely talking to you about a situation that is really plaguing them, you just say, let me pray for you. You know, without even first reasoning with the person or talking with the person. If a man genuinely said that he's hungry and he's really, really hungry, it's not somebody who is trying to play you or trying to trick you, but he's really, really hungry. Instead of saying, I pray for you, if you have some money or if you have some food, the first thing you do is feed this brother. I mean, Jesus Christ was like that. After he was finished preaching in the, in, in, in the streets, 
people were you know, there lingering and the disciples came and said, look here, we need to send on the people. And what Jesus Christ said, no, I'm on the people, you have to feed them. So this is the thing, I want to be like God, I want to care, I want to love. I mean, it's hard to love in a world like this, it's very, very hard. You know, you have some people who are very selfish, they only think about themselves. But so be the case, God said we must love those who even despitefully use us. I want to be like God, I want to have the heart like Him. I live like the way you want me to Now I may not do it just like you do But I wanna stay true to the kingdom Be relevant and be a true Christian I wanna be the poor, the widows and the orphans Be a light in the middle of the darkness So they see my good works and glorify God in heaven I have no time to sit and talk about no one sin Unless it's with the one I'm going to be helping If you can't speak positive then close your mouth Who is you to be judging? Look into your life and tell me what you see Every day you wake you should be busy Working out your salvation Building a firm foundation My love Spreads wider than the widest ocean, yeah. Jesus, oh Lord, here I am. And I am asking, asking yeah, yeah, yeah. Asking you again. For a heart like yours, a heart like yours, Lord. I want a love like yours, Lord. Lord, give me, give me. German linked me and said, yo, um, wanted, wanted me to work with him on this song. That was easy because German is one of those guys that I've always looked forward to, to not just collab with, but share the stage with. Um, he has a heart, heart after God. Um, so it was quite easy. As long as I am great, I will praise you, Jehovah. German has grown a lot. A couple years ago I heard his stuff, I heard his work. I was impressed, but there's always good, better, best. Now he's more keen with his work. And the good thing about German, if you don't know him, you can get on your skin, but he knows what he, what he wants, which is very, very important. German miserable too, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, man, but the whole world miserable sometimes, especially when we create the music. He has a wonderful album that I personally is one of my favorite projects I've worked on in a long while. Looking forward to where the music is going now, I'm, 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 I'm expecting something that has never been seen, never been heard in Jamaica. He has spent a lot of time detailing, making sure that the project sounds good, sounds international. Um, Jeremy and I, have, and I have collaborated on, on a couple of songs and, and for me, personally, every time I listen to those songs, 
I realized that there is just this depth in the man. Yeah, there's this depth. Um, if you check the writing, German writes, it's, it's like, you wonder, you want, well, for me, still, I always say I'm a German writer, you know, just like, you know, German right? the Spirit of God just deliver some words. Put your hand over your head now. Put your hand over your head. Over your head. And somebody, somebody just say, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Again. Cover me, cover me, cover me, under your blood. just listen to music and think that music is just music but there's a lot to music than the ears can ever imagine I mean it can take you here it can take you there just depending on where you want to go we have to love people if we're going to become the, 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 the people the role models that God wants us to be because our role really with the music is to transform people you know we do people, we, 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 our goal is people, our, our, our investment is always investing to get to people, you know, to reach people. A lot of people think because you're a popular figure, you should have a lot of friends. You're right, we have a lot of people who call themselves friends, you know what I mean, they're around you and they, they see you, but you don't have a lot of genuine people who really care about you. When I talk about care, how you eat, if you're okay, can you call them at one o'clock in the morning if you broke down on the road, if they would come for you, you know what I mean, to help you out of that situation. There's only few persons you really can call to help you. And I know everybody out there can say, yo, I have few persons in my life that I can call at 3 a.m. in the morning to save me. And yes, they will be miserable, but they are going to be there. I want to thank these persons for being there, my management team, you know, I want to thank my wife for being there. She, <laughs> you would even understand. Sometimes she's there in the bed and I'm here working, but she she understand. And sometimes she come in the studio and she sit down and she she don't understand what I'm doing, but she just there as a support, you know, to sit down playing with her tablet or reading the Bible or something. But she's there, you know, to show support. And you know, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity. My main purpose is to ensure that I am lining up with God's kingdom. I may not be 100% today, but the aim is, my desire is to ensure that one day, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be there. The righteous for the unrighteous. The true and the living for the dead. You know, when he told me that he loved me, I thought that was kind of weird. That 
he would pardon me for all that I done. And then he turned around and he called me his son, Jimmy. Sing a song. God Almighty, you are my help. Never forsake me when I cannot find friends. You carried my burdens, always made a way. Oh, I never, never would have expected you would have carried me through those days. Lord, I thank you for never leaving me. You held me in your arms. Help me, save me, protecting me from all ours. I would be ungrateful. I never look back at what you've done. Jesus, I love you, so I'm singing you this song.